Hey everybody, it's Angie. Today we're going to work outside for a little bit. It's beautiful outside. And we're going to do a little something different. Um, welcome back, subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I'm an artist from North Carolina. I do furniture, canvases, jewelry, just a little bit of everything. And today it's going to be furniture. Um, as most of you know, in December the 30th, my father passed away. And February the 9th this year, my mother passed away too. It's been a difficult time. My father was into antiques. He could take an old piece of antique furniture and make it look brand new. Well, my sister, my brother, and I are getting the estate ready to sell. And Dad had a great big workroom with all kinds of stuff he was working on. And he had a table in there that I had seen before and I thought, damn, that would look good painted. Well, I brought it home and that's what we're gonna work on. So I'm dedicating this video to them. Hope you stick around. It's probably gonna be a two-parter. It's gonna take a while. But first I wanna show you this table. I'm gonna take you down. Okay, it's a Duncan Five. The top of it's in really rough shape. It's got scratches. I mean, it's not real bad. It's just got a lot of scratches. But it does have, let me see, right there, it has a crack. And we're going to have to feel that. It goes all the way through, but there's a brace on the bottom side, so it's not going anywhere. And the bottom's beautiful. Look at this. And it even has a couple little small cracks on that. that I'm going to have to feel before I paint. And it has the brass feet. I love these old tables. This is our project. Okay, I'm going to set this table up on the work table. And the first step was cleaning it. And I've been watching some videos on flipping furniture and all that. And this one girl uses this super clean. So I got me some of that to wash it off. So I'll be right back. Okay, before I do that, this is my new puppy. This is Xena. She's a half husky and half Great Pyrenees. She's only six months old. Look how big she is. <laughs> oh, and she loves digging holes. Look at here, all over the yard. Don't know what we're gonna do with her. She just got out of a timeout. She's a lot of trouble, but I hope she's gonna make a good dog. You think you're gonna make a good dog? She's not Angel, but she's learning. Okay, anyway. Okay, I got my work gloves on. And I'm probably gonna speed this part up. Just gonna spray it down really good. I'm going to get all the grease and grime. Been on it forever. Okay, we've got it washed, and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it clean. I want you to see how dirty that thing was. And this is my rinse water, and it's filthy too. It was pretty bad. I took a brush and got in all the little lines, because I'm going to paint those. See, I don't know if you can see it out here or not. It has a crack running right through there. I'm going to have to feel that. But first, we're going to sand this piece. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my electric sander to the top. And I'm going to take a little sanding block and just rough it up so it'll take the primer. Of course, i got to feel it first. We're going to go ahead and sand. i got my dust mask. You don't want to breathe this old stuff. 
Bad enough the new stuff. Okay, we've got it roughed up. I'm gonna rinse it off. And then we're gonna fill those places. I'm trying to get it primed today because we got storms moving in this afternoon. And we're gonna paint it in the studio. She was dirty. opener okay this is Fama wood wood filler I've had it for a while so it's starting to get really thick it'll work some of these don't show through the paint so put a little dab of that in there you don't have, don't have to be much a little bit. And we're gonna let this dry for a little bit before I prime it. Sand it down a little bit and then prime it. Some deep cracks right there. Bet Dad's looking down from heaven saying, You're gonna paint what? <laughs> and Mom will be saying, Put some paint on that thing. He loved his antiques. Good parents. Good, hard working middle class. Daddy was a mountain man. I came from North Wilkesboro in North Carolina. He wasn't scared of nothing. He sure wasn't scared of hard work. So the man worked till he was 80. He was 84 when he passed. He worked all the way up to the last little bit. But he did what he loved. Okay. 
We're going to let that sit and I'm going to flip it over and do the top. And get that big crack in the top. We'll be back. Okay, we're going to get the bottom primed. I've got some Krylon. Usually I, usually I use Rust-Oleum, but they didn't have it. So we're going to try this. It's starting to cloud up, so I want to get this bottom primed. Okay, we're going to let that set a minute. Okay, we're finished with the prime. I'm going to have to put more filler in that crack. But that's okay. It looks a whole lot different, don't it? Looks like we're fixing to have a thunderstorm here. And the clouds rolling in. Starting to rumble a little bit, so... I'm gonna get this put in the shop and tomorrow we're gonna start painting that top and I can't wait to do that it's gonna be a Dutch pour on top all right I will see you later gators thanks for hanging and you have a great day later